we got this, baby. We got this or whatever. We're going to be skinny legends, honey. Not just skinny legends, but healthy legends. Literally. We're going to be Barbie dolls. <laughs> healthy Barbie dolls. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Big Eye Appetite. And today, I am going to be doing a seafood boil, if you will. Um, I was challenged by one of my really good friends, Eat Spicy With Tea. However, you guys, I don't think I can do the uh, two times spicy sauce. I've been, you know, dealing with stomach issues and, you know, acid reflux, heartburn, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to do just my version. Shout out to her. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope I don't disappoint you for not doing, not being able to do the challenge. But um, I love you. <laughs> anyway, you guys. What we have today is some jumbo prawns, shrimp, whatever you want to call them, and some mussels. And then again, right here, we have some delicious seafood boil sauce. Anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get started because I am still wowing. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands that prepared it. May you provide for those going without. He'll bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited for this. I haven't had a seafood boil in... In ages. Okay. So. Adios, meal. Oh. You guys, here we go. Mmm. 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 That is delicious. The sauce is super hot. Literally fresh off the stove. Oh my God. That's amazing. Oh, okay. Let's try these. Oh, I, can't, I can't do the head on these ones. I do like to set the head on uh, shrimps, but I don't, I can't on these ones. They're, they're too, too meaty, too girthy. The thing that I did like about these is that when I opened them up to clean them up, they didn't have a lot of caquita. So actually they didn't have any. I think like one of them did have some, but dang, look at this. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Oh man. Lord, we're in for a treat today, y'all. Mmm. Mm hmm Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. These are freaking amazing. They're the jumbo tiger prawns or something like that. I bought them from my local Asian market. A pack of six was $30. I'm like, yow, yowzers. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all. A big shout out to T, Eat Spicy with T. She's one of the realest. 
If you guys do not watch her, you need to. I'm going to put the link to her channel in the description box below. You guys got to go check her out. She is amazing. The spread of seafood boil that she does are uncomparable. Literally uncomparable. I have never seen such beauty. Mm. Mm. I love how she breads her um, king crab legs. She has done hot Cheetos, Takis. I mean, you name it. Oh, you guys. Oh, my God. How is it, Ma? Mm. Isn't it wonderful? Mm -hmm. mm. 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 And the sauce that I'm doing today is just something that I, like, whipped up. <clears throat> From spices and... All the stuff that I have in my cabinet. A little bit of everything. A little, a little bit of everything in the kitchen sink. Mmm. Wow. Why go out? And spend a ton of money on uh, seafood boil when you can just do it here at home. The mussels were very inexpensive. I think like 10 bucks for a pack. And the pack has like 40, 45, no, like 40 mussels. It's crazy. I didn't think so many were going to come in the box. And these are the green lip. So we got the good stuff. I know I already mentioned this yesterday, but. Mm. I am so excited for California. I'm going to, um. Uh, my friend's baby shower, Steven and Des. So that's gonna be fun. And then of course, you know, get some work done while we're out there. That's always a must, you know? Mm. You can't just always take a leisure trip you know what I mean we gotta get some work done somewhere somehow let me know like I said I'm gonna be in California let me know some recommendations of some places to eat at I'm really looking for like some bomb tacos I'll probably be, you know, in the LA area. So let me know what are some bomb tacos in LA. I need to know this. Mm. What a beautiful way to break my fast. High fat. High protein, low carb. Oh, I just, I can't believe the size of these shrimp. Prawns, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> mm.
I'm also craving mariscos. So if y'all got a bum marisco place in California, let me know. Let me know. I want oysters. I want our chile. I want all of the above. Mmm. I'm excited to tell you guys something too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind. So, by popular request, I filmed earlier today a get ready with me. But I don't know. If I should post it here on my main channel or my second channel. Sorry. Sometimes the muscles have like little fuzzy parts inside. Let me know. Where do you want to see this? You want me to post it here? I just, I don't want to confuse my audience with different content. You know, get ready with me, makeup, makeup look. There, it's not food related. So, let me know in the comments, do you want to see it here on this channel? Or should I post it to my second channel? I don't know. I'm kind of torn about that. this little scallop too tough trying to eat that little part that is connected to the shell nah no ma'am why is this food so filling how come when I'm not dieting <laughs> honey I could tear up a che double triple cheeseburger Along with chili cheese fries, onion rings, dipping it in ranch. Yes, look el otro. And once you start to like get the hang of training your stomach to only eat so much and eat healthier, it's like a couple bites and you're you're full. It's crazy. No, I have not had any bariatric surgery or anything because I know people are gonna be like. Oh, he probably got something low key. No, how? I don't got the time for that. Kudos to those of you that have gotten it. I wanted it, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to get bariatric surgery, but my sister had it done and I saw the way she suffered. I'm not saying everyone is gonna have the same result or the same, you know, complications or anything. <clears throat> but just hearing some of the horror stories was enough to scare me out of it. And here I am, once again, trying to do it on my own. I have fallen and failed so many times, but that's okay. You know what? As long as I'm able to pick myself back up and try to do it again, that's all that matters, you know? But I have a handful of friends that have gotten it done and have never had an issue. As you guys already know, one of my best friends, uh, Prissy MUA Boss, Boss, what I she changes her name all the time on social media. We'll just say Priscilla. She had it done. No complications. Her results were great. And the only thing, you know, sometimes she struggles with is like, you know eating around people or feeling that like discomfort I didn't want that talking with her and hearing her experience you know whether she's out dining with friends or you know in a group setting family or whatever holidays and you're only two bites in and you're already full 
and then having to see your family and friends enjoy converse have a good time and you're you know sitting there kind of awkwardly or whatever as she puts it um i didn't want that you know what i mean <clears throat> But, you know, some people, they, you know, they, they they can get past that. I don't think I could mentally, you know, because getting bariatric surgery is not just, you know, an easy way out. It's a tool to help you, you know, maneuver through weight loss. But it's not the be all, know all, you know, cure for obesity. It's a tool you still have to work very, very, very hard at losing weight and maintaining weight. Uh, maintaining your weight and all that because you can easily gain it back trust me so um yeah i just i'm like i don't know if mentally i would be ready for that so i opted to not do it i did i was supposed to my doctor had scheduled me for the seminar the bariatric seminar mm. Mm. I was like, yeah, no. What really got me was the story my nephew had told me. Because he was going to get it done, too. Um, he had said, I don't know if it was his co-worker. We'll just, we'll just say co-worker, because I don't remember clearly. But his co-worker... And his cousin, the co-worker's cousin, went and got it. They were fine. I guess one of them had some sort of complication or something. He had ate a, a everything bagel and I guess some of the seeds kind of tucked in or got lodged inside the, the pocket of where the wound was healing, I guess. And it got infected. Well, anyway, one thing led to another and he didn't make it. I want to say like a month later or less, something similar happened with the cousin and also had those similar complications and did not make it, both of them. So... When my nephew told me that story, I was like, it's not worth it. I'm not willing, you know, to sacrifice either being sick or... And again, again, you guys, not everybody has the same results. Not everyone has the same story. I'm solely saying that hearing those stories or that story was more than enough for me to back out of it. Again, I don't want to deter anyone from getting it because this surgery is life-altering, life-saving for a lot of people who genuinely need it. Me, at the moment, I didn't have, you know, I don't have health issues or my life on the line like that to the point where I need to get it um, to save my life. I still have the opportunity to try to do it on my own and all that, all that stuff, you know what I mean? So... The risk for me was gr far too great to get it. You know what I mean? It wasn't worth it. So, but again, that's not saying that someone who has, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, all kinds of ailments or, um, you know, immobility or anything like that, that now that is when this intervention, this operation is necessary and vital for the safety and the life of that person. But anyway, like I said, just do your research, go with your gut feeling. Me, I went with my gut feeling and I decided it wasn't for me. But um, kudos to everyone that has gotten it and is doing fantastic, who are persevering. You guys are champions. You guys are amazing. And I don't want you for one second to ever think that because you got this, it was, you know, the easy way out or whatever, because it is not easy. I have seen firsthand the struggles of a person who's had both the bypass, the gastric bypass, and the gastric sleeve. You know, they're similar surgeries, but different at the same time. And like I said, my sister had the bypass and my best friend has the gastric sleeve. 
I have seen them suffer, you know, similarly, but also be able to enjoy their life at the same time. So, you know, you're sacrificing one thing for another is all it is. But um, anyway, kudos to you guys. God bless. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Thank you for being here on this journey with me. I'm so excited, you guys. Super motivated. I haven't been this motivated in I don't know how long. Um, I have not cheated. I have not any. I have not even thought about cheating or anything. I'm just super, super in the moment. Super motivated. And we got this. Those of you that are doing this journey with me, we got this, baby. We got this or whatever. We're going to be skinny legends, honey. Not just skinny legends, but healthy legends. Literally. We're going to be Barbie dolls. Ew. Healthy Barbie dolls. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, God first, always. Praise, praise him. Yes. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.